While uh, Israel has not uh, officially uh, claimed responsibility for the assassination of Iranian General Mohammad Riza Zaidi, it remains uh, silent. However, uh, commentators in the Arab world uh, speculate that Israel uh, conducted the attack in Damascus uh, in relation to pro-Iranian militias launching a UAV from Iraq towards the city of Elat, hitting a structure at a naval base of the IDF the day before. According to foreign sources, uh, Israel has executed two significant uh, assassinations since the October 7th uh, massacre, the first being the assassination of Saleh al arouri the deputy head of the uh, political bureau of Hamas in Beirut, uh, at Dahia uh, neighborhood, and the more uh, recent assassination of Mohammed uh, Riza uh, Zahidi. The latest assassination follows a pattern of targeting senior members of the Revolutionary Guards, exactly like the assassination of Quds Force Commander Qasem Soleimani by the U.S. Army in Baghdad in January 2020. The precision of the attack, based on accurate intelligence, resulted in the death of Mohammad Reza Zaidi, also known as Hassan Mahadawi, along with his deputy Haji Rahimi and uh, several assistants. Uh, Zaidi was killed in an aerial attack while staying uh, in a building near the Iranian embassy in Damascus. Uh, and the Israeli sources, as uh, uh, reported by the New York Times, confirm Israel's uh, involvement in the attack, which uh, targeted a meeting of senior uh, Palestinians and Iranian officials from uh, revolutionary guards. Israel is informed uh, the U.S. of the attack upon execution, Zaidi responsible for directing terrorist activities against Israel and maintaining direct contact with the Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah, played a pivotal role in facilitating weapons uh, transfers from Iran to Syria and Lebanon. His elimination aims to hold Iran accountable for its activities against Israel uh, through proxies that uh, ser serves as a a warning for future actions, notably in anticipation of Eid al-Fitr and potential IDF operation in the Rafah area. A recent visit by Hamas and Islamic Jihad leaders to Tehran, promising support from Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei against the Israeli interference in the Gaza Strip, underscore tensions between Israel and Iran. The assassination of Mohammad Reza Zahidi weakens Iran's operational capabilities in Syria and Lebanon. Iran's ambassador to Syria threatened that uh, Iran will uh, retaliate to the attack. Uh, Israeli security officials uh, detect uh, indications of further planned attacks by Iran-affiliated groups deep within Israel. Thus, uh, the uh, Damascus assassination should be seen as a signal to Iran uh, that Israel reach uh, extends uh, through the Middle East Moreover, uh, Israel braces itself for potential retaliation and escalation on the Northern Front when uh, Chief uh, of Staff uh, Major General Herzi Alevi uh, last night approving uh, plans for continued uh, combat operation in the IDF Northern Command. In conclusion, while Iran may uh, prefer indirect confrontation with Israel uh, through its proxies, recent events indicate escalating tension in the near future. Thank you.